everyone, it's Sam, and today is September 8th, it's Wednesday night. I'm a little bit behind um, getting myself together. So today is the last night before we go back to work tomorrow. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am a parent for a public school in Brooklyn. It's This is going to be my seventh year. I cannot believe it's been that long. Uh, I am glad to be... Obviously, I'm sad that summer break is over, but for, for me, I um, need that kind of structure in my life, so I'm glad to be going back. Uh, so right now, what I, I just finished up preparing the food for tomorrow. Uh, for breakfast, I'm going to have fruit, not all of it, and this so delicious dairy-free strawberry yogurt, or yogurt alternative, and I, you know, I haven't been officially diagnosed as like lactose intolerant but I can feel it sometimes and I'll just rather avoid that when I'm at work here is fruit so there is melon honeydew um, strawberry and mandarins and this is for any time during the day it's a black sugar milk tea and then for lunch I made a salad and you can see all the colors on there uh, but I have peppers, cabbage, mushrooms, onions, tomatoes, romaine, lettuce uh, and then prosciutto on top and then there's a uh, balsamic dressing that I got when I ordered pizza I thought it would be perfect for that so that's my lunch and then as I go through a lot of the things I have to do to get ready I will share with you this is my lunch bag and it is the brand Amion, Amion, I'm not sure. Uh, and then here is my water bottle that I'm gonna bring. I'm not gonna fill it uh, because we have a water filter at work. And right now I am going to condense these two bags. This is my bag for when I'm at home and I'm going out on the weekends. And then there is my work bag that is solely for work. Um, I'll probably keep some stuff in this bag, but most of it is gonna go in there. Hey, it is Thursday, September 9th. It's the first day back to work. There's no kids yet. They start on Monday. And that's really nice so that we can focus on, the next couple of days we can focus on the classroom and the other odds and ends that we need to figure out. There was a ton of traffic. Oh my goodness, it's raining. And I think because school's back sort of, there's just a ton of traffic. It took me almost two hours, which is crazy. Um, I left a little bit later too by accident. I played that dangerous game game where you wake up, but then you're like, oh, five more minutes, but you don't set anything. Um, so I slept for like another 10, 15 minutes. And then, uh, yeah, it was just a ton of traffic, but I got a spot and now I'm getting myself ready. Just a little bit of eye makeup. Um, and yeah, let's get this day started. I'm sweating. It is about 9.45. We're going to have our staff meeting in 10 minutes. Oh, no, sorry. At 10. And I'm just trying to... All this time, I've just been putting stuff that I brought from the car. So let me show you. Put Putting that stuff away. <sighs> and I had more stuff than that, but this is what's left of it. Thank goodness. Hey, it is 4.45 p.m. I got home around 3.50. Traffic wasn't too bad. Um... It's what it is, and I'm glad to be home. I'm starting to make dinner. I'm making mashed potatoes, fish specifically, tilapia, and salmon. And I have the corn. It's going to be corn on the cob in the Instant Pot. Super easy in the Instant Pot. You just uh, put the tray down, or the trivet, and then you lay the corn, and then you put in a cup of water, or you can put the cup of water whenever you want, and then you set it for two, three minutes super easy. Uh, I'm very, very tired. As I mentioned this morning, I didn't get that much sleep, but today was a good day. I, there's only so much we can do without an official list and things are ever changing, ongoing, and, um, hopefully we'll get that list soon. And it was just, uh, it was a good day. It was a long day. Um, but I was glad to be there and, um, Hopefully I'll see you later tonight. If you don't see me tonight, I have just fallen into bed and hopefully gone to sleep. 
I am preparing my lunch for tomorrow. There's still some leftover pasta somebody got tonight. This is my portion. And then I am going to be putting, this is chicken cacciatore. It's gonna go in here. And there is a piece of chicken, a uh, chicken thigh in there. And that will be my lunch for tomorrow. I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper and it'll be good to go. Here's dinner. So the corn's all ready and it stays warm in there for whenever anybody wants it. There's the salmon and the tilapia. Just simple, you know what, let me tell you. Just simple seasoning. It's salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And it was cooked in canola oil. And then here are the smashed potatoes. Uh, and there's garlic in there and parsley, a little butter, half and half. Okay, right now I am in my room and I am going to pick out clothes for tomorrow. I like to do that the night before. And my, I am not a fashionista. You could tell from watching my videos. I am definitely comfort over anything else. And that is how I pick out my clothes. So already I know I'm gonna wear these jeans and then I like, you know, get my socks and everything. Where's the socks that I just had? Oh, there it is. Socks, I'm probably gonna shower tonight just because I've been, you know, touching, cleaning up things, touching things, being around people and just to get all the germs out. <laughs> that is the door sliding in. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, that is so weird. You can see my reflection in there. Um, and, uh, and you know, we're moving stuff around and doing all that. So I definitely want to be comfortable, but I still want to look like I tried a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to just, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pick this, this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and I always wear an airism because I sweat so much. So here's an airism. It's a nude one and I get my bra and other unmentionable. And then I wear sneakers. I left. So I have a pair of driving shoes because they're just so comfortable and I, I like to wear them. Uh, so I left a pair of sneakers at work that look like legit sneakers, not run down, uh, need to be thrown away type of sneakers. <laughs> Okay, uh, then I am going to get my grandmother's dinner ready because it is around 6 p.m. And that's when I like to bring her her dinner. Um, and then after that, I'm really hoping that I can take a shower and, well, eat, then take a shower, then relax. Uh, there is a few things that I brought back that I didn't need. Uh, you know, I brought all that stuff with me to work today, but I didn't need all of it. Like I was bringing all of the class t-shirts that we've ever had. So I had like about six and that's just not, no, it's too much. And some other odds and ends like, oh, did I really need five mugs? It was ridiculous. I don't know what I was thinking. I just brought everything with me. So I'll be looking at the stuff and I did the stuff that I brought home and I did make a to-do list of certain things that I want to bring with me. Like I was missing a spoolie this morning when I was trying to do my brows and things like that. Morning, it is Friday, September 10th. And as you can tell from the back, it is super sunny today. It's a beautiful day. It was cold though when I woke up this morning. I got a decent amount of sleep, not the full eight hours, but more than um, usual for a work day. And that's because I was so tired yesterday from not getting sleep from the other day. Uh, so that was kind of good. Uh, traffic was okay. It took me about an hour to get here because of the sun. It was so bright. And then I got to Brooklyn and I was circling around to find a parking spot, but I couldn't find one. I was driving around for like 10, 15 minutes. And that's the stressful part. I get here on time, like way before I have to be here. Actually, not even on time. It's way before I need to be at my job and I could still be late because I'm looking for parking. I might have to end up uh, parking in front of the building, which I don't like to do because technically we're not supposed to park there. There's no, there's not a special spot for us and we don't have a permit to park there, but I might have to, if there's a spot available, it's a busy block. 
where my building is. Uh, so today is going to be another day without the kids. Um, there's only so much we can do without an official class list, which we don't have. Hopefully we'll have that today and then we could get a little bit more done. Uh, but it's Friday and um, it's so wild how getting just good sleep makes you feel better. Yesterday driving in, I was just not feeling that great, but today I was feeling okay and I could kind of deal with the traffic a little bit better. Um, so sleeping is just so, so important and I have to work on getting better sleeping habits for sure. And I'll try to check in. I just, it's a little bit of awkwardness to film in the building and I don't want to get anyone's voice or face that they don't want to be in there. They don't know that I do YouTube, but I'll try to get a little bit more footage uh, today than yesterday. I'm going to have breakfast now. It is about 8.40ish. They are having coffee at the main building, but I'm just gonna stay here. I don't feel like walking up there and trying to like make small talk, unfortunately. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible because I haven't seen these people, but it's weird working at a different location than the main school because you don't get to see those people all the time. I mean, I know a lot of them, but I'm just more comfortable here. So yesterday I didn't have my breakfast. I'm gonna have that today. It's the So Delicious yogurt, strawberry, yeah, strawberry and then here it, here here's some fruit and I won't have all of that maybe I'll save that for lunch and of course my coffee and then um, I'm gonna I'll show you what I'm gonna do next after I finish eating breakfast I am going to organize my cubby here because I just threw everything in there yesterday uh, let me turn this around so you can see what I'm working with here is what was most of what was in the cubby. I still have to take out my books right there, but I'm going to try to make it a little bit neater and the easier to get things and put things in there because before I just, it was stuffed. That's just like everywhere I go, right? Like my house, my office, it's just, I have too much stuff. And here is what the cubby looks like now. So I put like the school books um, and PD stuff, uh, professional development stuff that I've accumulated and the school laptop is in there and then the second sh shelf there are personal items like pads and poopery and things like that that you might need and then there's the stuff that I'm going to take home with me and I'll put my jacket in there if I have one and then that is an extra pair of clothes just in case something happens here and since I can't run home quickly and there's uh, flip-flops too. Hi everyone, it's Sam, and I'm sort of embarrassed to tell you what date it is today. It is Thursday, September 23rd. I, this is my third week of work, my first full week with the children because the first week there were no kids oh, back to work and then, wait, well, this is what it is, back to work video. <laughs> um, I keep on forgetting because it was so long ago. I filmed that on September 8th and 9th. Uh, and then the second week, we only had them for an hour on Monday, an hour on Tuesday. Then uh, Wednesday was a half a day. Thursday, we had no school. And then Friday was also another half a day. So this is the first real week. And I, <sighs> uh, it's great to be back to work. And of course, with the children, they are amazing. It's not perfect. I don't think you'll ever have a perfect class. That's probably maybe once in a blue moon. Uh, I have to say, though, it's been extremely challenging. And I know I was talking to a coworker of mine, and I'm like, we both know that in a month's time, it'll be totally different and will be more of a routine. Um, I do have to preface this, though. I work in pre-K, and I feel like that's a entirely different beast. It's more... Um, teaching them how to be good people, if that makes any sense. Uh, not really, I mean, we do letters and numbers and things like that, but it's more like social emotional things. Um, and they really need it after the crazy year that we've had. It's nothing is normal about work right now. Um, and yeah, the, there's a couple words that come to mind and they're not very positive. They're <laughs> frustrated and challenging i know things will get better but i'm just um 
I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you guys are doing, and please stay, please stay safe and healthy, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.